Welcome back to another video. So how we can measure meshes within FreeCAD? This will be the case study. We have over here a car model that will be in STL file format. So I open this within the mesh workbench. You can do that by going to import mesh or directly within the start, you can load that. Now, within the mesh information, if I will select the mesh, we're going to see that this will actually give us a bounding box. So we see it over here. Minimum bound and maximum bound. So the total length will be the sum of those. And uh, this is why it's important to make sure that your models are at true scale. Now, since we don't have directly the information of the bounding box, like we have it in Katia, for example, we need to go ahead and do a manual measurement in this case. So to get started, I will uh, go to start and I will click again on the same STL file and this will open over here. Again, if I will select it, we're going to see those the same information for the for the bounding box, so for the minimum and, uh, and for that and for the maximum bound. Now I will zoom in towards the card like this. And in order to do a manual measurement, I will go over here with import design. And within sketch, I will just create a new sketch. The plane will be X and Y. And I will hit OK. And we're going to see that the origin of the part will be over here, aligned with the wheel on the back. And now I can go and create a line in this case. As you can see over here, the, um, the coordinates for this will be the following. So in this case, minus, because we have that origin over here. This is why we had that bounding box minimum set to almost one uh, minus one meter. So I can do a selection over here and afterwards I can move this all the way to the front. And we're going to see that in this case, since I didn't add that line straight exactly over there, if I will make this line um, like this, so vertical, we're going to see that I still have to move that a little bit. Now, since I pass escape, we no longer are within that sketch. So I'm going to go back. And over here, I can further adjust this. But it's important also to measure the size of the car with, um, let's say, the, the information regarding the true length of that. So we see over here that uh, for this car, the length should be the following. So in our, in our case, we know that the mesh has been loaded at the true scale within um, within FreeCAD. So you can use this measuring technique in order to, to do the measurement. OK, now to add that constraint, I will go over here within dimension. And I can select the line. And we're going to see, in this case, the length. We can go to, to the values. So let's say that this will be the length, 5 meter, 137 millimeters. I can type in that over here. And we're going to have that length defined. And now we know that the model has been loaded at the true scale. Afterwards, you can hide a sketch if you no longer want that to be visible. But now we know that the model has been loaded at true scale and we can start working with this as a reference. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this kind of content. I will position a similar video over here on the left side, and I will also add a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.